All right, so we are getting ready to do a trochanteric bursa injection for greater trochanteric pain syndrome. So we have the patient side lying with the affected hip uh, up in the air. And so the first thing that we're gonna do is find the most tender spot that is the most tender to a palpation. So you tell me when I'm right on it. Ouch. Right there? Yep. Is that the worst of it? Ouch. Right there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then I'm gonna mark the spot. Again, you can use a surgical marker or the tip of the cap from the syringe as well. And typically, you'll be right over the greater trochanter, but by finding the point of maximum tenderness will hopefully give the most relief. So I wiped off with the betadine prep and now the alcohol. And I like to use the cold spray 10 to 12 inches away. And I'll hold it until it becomes nice and white, blanches the skin. And for this is the only uh, joint injection that I use the 18 gauge needle to get all the way down. One, two, three, quick poke. And we'll advance down until I get resistance. Doing okay? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna pull back. And then start to inject. You should need a little resistance and then you pull back just slightly. And then see how nice and evenly it's flowing in. By meeting the resistance, you know that you're right up against the trochanter and then you pull back slightly so that you can be in the bursa.